On, uh, so focusing on leadership, when you, when you look back at your trajectory, at what point did you see yourself as a leader? And were there, was there a moment that really helped you turn a corner and sort of identify yourself in that light? Because so much, as you talk about, the solutions are going to be dependent upon the next generation. So what was that experience to you? Like, what put you on that path? Well, uh, the truth is, when I was young, I gave my mother a lot of headaches. <laughs> I, you know, I, I wasn't always the best student. I wasn't always uh, the most responsible young person. Uh, it wasn't until I got to college that I think I, I began to think about uh, many of the broader issues that uh, the world was facing. Um, but I think the moment for me in which uh, I started to understand leadership was when I moved to Chicago. As you know, uh, I had been inspired by the civil rights movement and I wanted to be involved in some way in bringing about change. I got a job working with low-income communities in Chicago. And what I learned was that uh, the mark of a good leader is somebody who is able to empower other people. Uh, so often we think of leadership as somebody at the top who is ordering other people around. Hmm. But it turns out that, for me at least, what made me understand leadership was when I could see somebody who thought they didn't have a voice, thought they didn't have influence or didn't have power, and teach them how they could yeah. speak up on the things that were affecting their lives. Right. And you know, when we think about issues like uh, food security or climate change, uh, ultimately politicians can help guide policy. But the energy to bring about change is going to come from what people do every day. Uh, it's going to come from parents who are concerned about the kind of impact that uh, climate change may have on their children. It's going to come from enlightened business people who say, how can we use less energy or waste less uh, resources in producing the products uh, that we're making? Uh, it's millions of decisions that are being made individually right. that uh, end up having as much impact as anything, and uh, that's certainly true in our democracies. Uh, people have a tendency to uh, blame politicians when things don't work, but as I always tell people, uh, you get the politicians you deserve. <laughs> and if you don't vote and you, you don't participate and you don't pay attention, then you'll get policies that don't reflect your interests. That's right. Yes. Uh, democracy is messy, but it, but it works. Um, so just, just looking back a little bit, you know, I remember on the campaign, you'd 